Welcome to the first installment of Cosmic Musings with your hosts John Thomas Mum and special guest Cutaneous by Euford. This is the Sonic Pendulum. didn't work before they're not going to work now that's what i always say einstein defined insanity as, as trying the same thing wait no how did you define it i don't know what his exact words were trying the same thing over and over again after it failed already yeah trying the same thing over and over again after it failed the first time is that what you mean yeah but that just does not have the sharpness of einstein's quip well that's why you were paraphrasing instead of quoting directly no his quip really gets to the heart of the matter and it also makes you laugh at least internally yeah, but never, never externally. I don't think when people read Einstein's quips, they're like cracking up or rolling on the floor or anything. Well, I think, I think they are. I mean, I, whenever I read a quip from Einstein, I'm, I mean, God does not play dice. You know, those are classics. That's a pretty, yeah, that's a pretty classic zinger. I mean, I, I, I often am cracking up, you know, pretty heartily when I'm reading like about general relativity. Yeah. That's some, that there's some pretty hilarious moments, but. Well, those papers are full of inside jokes that, you know, if you're a physicist, you're, you're sitting there reading and just cracking up. And it's like professors at colleges just don't really get it necessarily. A lot of times they teach Einstein like he's just totally deadpan the whole time. Well, he is deadpan, but as if he's being completely <laughs> serious the whole time. Yeah, and they don't even realize that E equals MC squared was one of his best quips. I think E equals MC squared may be the most concise and hilarious quip of all time. That's my yeah. opinion. Yeah, uh, uh, perfection uh, in simplicity. Perfection in simplicity, that's what Einstein did best, just like his mustache. <laughs> 